So why exactly should I use an extruder screen and what are the benefits? Don't worry, I'll explain everything you need to know, so stick around. Hi, I'm Sam and whether your facility is producing plastic cups or caps for pens, all contaminants have to be filtered out of the material you use to form any plastic goods. And obviously you want something that's efficient and cost effective, right? So with hundreds of filtration solutions available today, which one's the best for you? Working with woven wire for over 150 years, WS Tyler has become experts when it comes to woven wire filters. This includes the extruder screen mesh that's used by hundreds of plastic extrusion manufacturers today. So in this video, we'll go over how extruder screens affect the plastics industry, the process of replacing clogged screens, how much an extruder screen costs, and the availability of alternative solutions. An extruder screen, commonly referred to as a screen pack, is a woven wire filtration system that's formed to meet the needs of the customer. Available in both single layer and multi-layer configurations, extruder screens remove impurities from melted plastic. When selecting the specifications for your extruder screen mesh, you'll need to consider the factors like pressure requirements, the characteristics of the material being worked with, and the level of decontamination required. Having a mesh count that's too fine may deliver the desired level of decontamination, but may cause pressure levels to damage your equipment. Having too large of a mesh count may allow for adequate flow, but it can also let contaminants make their way into the final product. Most extruder screens in the plastics industry are typically a square mesh weave ranging from 20 to 150 mesh, and they're made out of stainless steel to avoid corrosion. The common focus that most plastic extrusion manufacturers share is the prevention of product failure. There are several circumstances that can cause product failure, however, contaminants in the plastic are the most common. When the plastic extrusion manufacturer begins production, raw or recycled material is melted down to be filtered. To accelerate melt flow, the melt is subjected to tremendous pressure when passing through the medium that holds several extruder screens, like the extruder breaker plate. As the melted plastic passes through the screen, any contaminants that may cause product failure are removed, and the filtered plastic is passed along to the rest of the production process. I should note, some plastic extrusion manufacturers implement a gear pump following their filtration screen to achieve consistent throughput. However, these gear pumps are sensitive to the impurities found in plastics. If your plastic extrusion process includes one of these, it's important to use finer mesh specifications for the proper amount of decontamination. When a new extruder screen is placed into production, there's typically 40 to 100 PSI present in the equipment. As production continues, the filtered contaminants begin to block the opening of the extruder screen mesh, which causes pressure to build up. When this happens, the extruder screen must be replaced. The rate the extruder screens are replaced at relies heavily on the quality of the plastic melt passing through. If the melt is raw with limited impurities, the screens can last several days without need for replacement. On the other hand, the amount of impurities being filtered out of recycled melt require you to replace the screen several times a day. Regardless how frequently your screens need to be changed, the process can be carried out with ease using a continuous changer. Manual operations can cause the production line to shut down completely before the filtration screens can be changed, which proves to be very time consuming and costly. But if you use a continuous hydraulic changer to replace your extruder screens, this process is virtually seamless. A continuous screen changer uses a mechanical mechanism like a hydraulic system to rotate new extruder screens into the place of the screens that were deemed unusable. When using a continuous hydraulic changer for plastic extrusion, there's still some manual work needed. An operator must stand by and replace or clean the soiled extruder screens as the hydraulic system activates and production continues. But it should be noted that contaminated extruder screens add back pressure to the system and increase the melt temperature due to friction, which can reduce the output of the clean material. The price of an extruder screen is dependent on several factors like size, shape, mesh specification, and quantity being purchased. When purchased in bulk, smaller screens that consist of a single layer will cost less than a multi-layer screen having a larger price tag. Most extruder screens are made of stainless steel that have a mesh count range from 20 to 150. That said, almost every plastic extrusion process incorporates some kind of filtration. So why is extruder screen mesh the most common extrusion medium? What about other solutions? Well, due to the high temperature of the plastic melt, extruder screens are really the only solution that is both cheap and durable enough to make practical sense in a typical plastic extrusion process. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out our Contact Us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert.
Just click the second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name's Sam Badger and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.